Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of All About the Cars of Gran Turismo 7. In this video we're going to learn all about the 2003 Audi TT Coupe 3.2 Quattro. Now this car can only be purchased at the used car dealership in Gran Turismo 7 and is currently being sold for 47,300 credits. Also as many of you may already know the used car dealer rotates cars in and out of the dealership every day so this car may or may not be available to you at the time that you watch this video, but it will eventually rotate back into being available for purchase. So I'm going to click on this car, and we'll look at some of its specs to start. It comes stock with 471.48 performance points. The drivetrain is four-wheel drive, so the engine is, I believe, situated in the front of the vehicle in this car, and it sends power to all four wheels. Its maximum power stock is 239 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. The weight is just over 3,300 pounds, and the engine is naturally aspirated. Now we're going to click on Learn More and see what Andy has to say about this car. For those who wanted to drive a sporty German car but didn't want a sedan or boxy coupe, Audi created the TT, or Double T. The round, compact body made it stand out in a crowd, blending sportiness with elegance. And when you stepped into its cabin, you were greeted with a stylish interior. Under the car's hood was a smooth revving 3.2 liter V6 that produced 246.5 horsepower. The torquey engine sent power to either the front wheels or all four tires via Audi's signature Quattro system. This version is one of the most popular of the first-gen TTs. All right, that's everything we can learn about the car from the used car dealer, so we're going to back out to the main menu now and go to my garage where I'll get into this car and we'll learn some more. So click on Change Car and we'll go to Audi, which should be pretty high up on the list here. And the double T is right here. So I'm going to click on this car, we'll listen to the engine startup sound, and then we'll learn some more about it. All right, we're going to go to the car collection now, go to this vehicle, and we'll read this description written by Gran Turismo. With its groundbreaking exterior design, this agile coupe took the sports car world by storm. Audi was hesitant at first in producing a compact 2 plus 2, but when the TT concept was greeted enthusiastically at the 1995 Frankfurt Motor Show, the company went to work in making the car a reality, and the TT 1998 bowed to a waiting public. The base engine was a 177.5 horsepower 1.8 liter DOHC inline 4, the same engine that powered the A3 and A4. But the choice for enthusiasts was a re retuned version with dual intercoolers that pumped out 221.9 horsepower. Because of the compact size of the TT, it was one of the most nimble cars in the marketplace. Built on the A3's platform with the wheelbase shortened 3.5 inches, the TT displayed excellent cornering balance with a slight penchant for understeer. The choice for enthusiasts was the all-wheel drive version because of a more neutral turning character, helped in part by the car's double wishbone rear suspension. The TT's popularity was increased even more by an attractive convertible version in 2000 and the addition of a 3.2 liter DOHC V6 in 2003. With 246.5 horsepower on tap and mated to the company's revolutionary DSG twin-clutch semi-automatic gearbox, the TT became the luxury 2 plus 2 of choice for discerning enthusiasts. Alright, some great information about the Audi TT, or Double T, however you want to say it. Um, so we're going to back out one more time to the main menu and go to the cafe and we'll see if anybody's here to talk to us about this car. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. And we have one person and that is Freeman Thomas. So I'm going to click on him and we'll see what he has to say. The design of the original Audi TT Coupe is very close to my heart. My intent was to be absolute and pure in a holistic concept. My inspirations for the TT concepts were 
Erwin Comenda's 356 Speedster and 550 Le Mans Coupe, along with Ecola Spada's Giulietta SZ Round Tail Coupe. The short round front and rear overhangs arch up geometrically into the belt line with the fender arches repeating the motion. The upper spear line serves to shave the surface and light reflection and can the headlamp tail lamp graphics. This creates an energy that also communicates quattro by visually connecting the wheels. The low, round, chopped roof sits on top of the lower fuselage as a separate visual element similar to the 550 Le Mans Coupe. The interior designed in collaboration with Romulus Rost is just an, as absolute and pure. I still can't believe Audi produced the TT. All right, that's everything we can learn about this car. So we're going to make one last stop down at the tuning shop and I'll show you everything that can be done to increase this car's performance and power. So under the sports category, everything here can be added to the car. Under club sports, same thing. Everything here can be added to the TT. Under semi-racing, everything with the exception of a high RPM turbocharger, low-end tor torque supercharger, or sports intercooler can be added. Low and medium RPM turbochargers can be added as well. Under the racing category, no stroke up and no high-end torque supercharger. Other than that, everything with the exception of the higher end modifications such as weight reduction stage four are available. So lots that you can do to this car to increase its performance points and horsepower. That's everything we can learn about the Audi TT. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helps you to determine whether or not you'd like to add this car to your collection. Stay tuned for more videos highlighting all of the cars of Gran Turismo 7. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.